I get to stick my hand in the mouth of a tiger, and I get to be my worst gay nightmare. Who knows if he's a top or a bottom? I have a feeling he was a top at work and a bottom in the sheets, but who knows? Hi, I'm John Cameron Mitchell, and Esquire has asked me to explain some things in my life and career, so let's do that. I'm excited to have two husbands at the same time. I believe I have five boyfriends in the whole show, which I've never had in my life. I get to stick my hand in the mouth of a tiger, and I get to be my worst gay nightmare. Who knows if he's a top or a bottom? I have a feeling he was a top at work and a bottom in the sheets, but who knows? I always found him a little annoying and his factory scene a little bit loveless and kind of meth addicted celebrity hounds. Uh, but then I was going to play him in Martin Scorsese's produced uh, vinyl. And I went to the Warhol Museum and I had a wonderful tour and uh, a friend of his let me hear some phone tapes that he made with his friend Bridget Berlin. And I suddenly had a soft spot for him. I suddenly saw this little scared gay boy. So I, I did learn to love him. I'm not baking sourdough. I did buy some sourdough because we have to help the economy. Back then, I really enjoyed uh, going on Instagram and having a competition with my uh, followers to name my sourdough starter because it was the only living thing I had touched in two months. Um, and some of the <laughs> some of the ideas were great. There was Helena Bonham starter. Vladimir Gluten, Celiac Cruz. Ultimately, the winner was The Origin of Loaf. In 2016, I was working on the Hillary campaign, and I saw a lot of young people not voting. When you say, oh, Hillary Biden is not pure enough, is not perfect enough, you can't allow a Trump to win, which is what happened last time. Season three of Shrill continues to try to make the world a better place. It is about a group of people in a, in a town known for its hipsterism, but actually, despite the cartoon version of it, is a wonderful place to live. And it's full of people who are really trying to do the right thing. And so they let me really write my character's backstory. He was in a band in the 90s. That was the germ of the character. Uh, this kid who's old, uh, this kid who's old, really, wondering why uh, the kids of today act, act older than he is. I, I do a, a concert tour, which will start up again uh, on Christmas holiday in New York, uh, called The Origin of Love, where I sing the Hedwig songs and tell the Hedwig how we made it, Stephen Trask and I. Uh, but I would like to play the role again, and there are secret plans for it to come back. Um, I won't explain until we announce. You, you're hearing it here for the first time. We are going to re-release Short Bus. Maybe the end of this year, definitely by next year. You know, Hedvig is the film that I'm best known for, but Short Bus has a strong following. I get a lot of people online saying Short Bus really changed their lives at a key moment. It deals with characters who are dealing in their sexual lives. Though it isn't really about sex, it uses sex the way a musical uses music. You know, it's a way of telling a story. The way we have sex tells a lot about ourselves, and I don't see why we need to hide that. There's nothing shameful about it. I grew up very Catholic, so I'm, I had that guilt, and this was one of the ways to break that guilt and realize that sex can be a beautiful, complicated, and hilarious thing. I was surprised. My friend Adam Goldman said, oh, there's this very popular Japanese anime series called Yuri on Ice about skaters, and it's very queer. Yuri is a Japanese skater, and his coach is a Russian skater named Victor, and Victor is based on me, according to Kubo-san. She said that she came to see me in Hedwig on Broadway. It really inspired this character of Victor, and even his hair looks a little bit like mine. There's things in common uh, with him, you know, the fact that he's comfortable being naked, comfortable being queer. I would quit my career to direct someone I think is brilliant. You know, it's like, I, I love that. He says, I don't know whether to be your coach or your boyfriend. Well, that's a few details about my life in the last few years. Um, 
I hope it clears up everything you need to know. Um, I hope that you are all getting your vaccine and getting out of the house, uh, making sure your friends get their vaccines, that you're going to restaurants, that you're having sex again. Please have good respect.